Matt Christine here from Sight of Sound with Dizzy Reed on the phone. What's up, man? Um, not much, man. Just hanging out in sunny California. Um, getting ready to come, come rock Pennsylvania. Yeah, next week at the Sands Event Center for the big two-year anniversary show. Oh, it's an anniversary? Yeah, uh, second year the venue's been open, and... I guess Guns N' Roses is this year's anniversary act. Last year was Two Nights of Motley Crue. Awesome. Well, it's always, it's always great to, uh, to help people celebrate and for any reason in any fashion. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be great. Um, well, you guys now are on a little bit of time off. Uh, you just had a successful South America run. Tell me a bit about that. I know it was a different run for you guys because Duff was back in the band. Yeah, you know, all around it was uh, great. It's always great to, to head down head down south. They, um, they they definitely dig the rock and roll music down there, um, and uh, you know they they treat us great and uh, can get past the, the language barrier and the um, you know the, some of the strange foods and whatnot. <laughs> um, it's pretty fun. But, um, yes, and you know Duff did join us. Tommy uh, Simpson has. Um, some shows with, with his old band, The Replacements, and so Duff was kind enough, and luckily enough, he was available. He was kind enough to uh, come fill in, and that was that was a lot of fun. It was, it was good to see him again, and good to be on stage with him, and it was a treat for all of us and for all the people down there. So, good, good times. Yeah, I bet. Was there any bit, uh, like a learning curve with him with the new material at all, or did he pick it up right away? Uh, you know, Duff's a, a, he's an amazing... He's a, he's, a, he's a perfectionist and he's a professional, he's a consummate professional. Um, so he, you know, he, he definitely, uh, you know, we hit the rehearsal studio a little bit and, uh, um, but he, you know, he came through and, and um, sounded great. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I know that tour ended and then you guys came back to the States for a very special performance at the Golden Gods this year. Yeah. How was that? What was, what was that crowd like compared to the uh, Latin American crowd? Um, actually, no, it, it was great. They, they, um, you know, I'm always, uh, I'm always a little, um, uh, 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 skeptical and, uh, a little, uh, I want to say worried, but, you know, doing live TV sometimes can be a little stressful, and, and that turned out great. Um, there was a great crowd there, and just, you know, a great, it was a great night. Uh, a lot of great bands, really cool, um, stuff, you know, uh, the guys from that metal show were hosting, my mm -hmm. good friends Jim and, and, and Don and, and Eddie, which was really cool. Um, and uh, we had a good time. And it sounded great, and that's with a, a wonderful award for this lifetime achievement. And so uh, that was fun. It was, um, it was the exception. I, like I said, I'm usually a little bit worried about John Light TV. That, that turned out great. Yeah, there's always that... I don't want to say nervousness, but that uh, feeling of uncertainty with things that are live. Everything went went great on our end, on the streaming end, so nothing to worry about there. Yeah. But um. Oh, well, I heard it sounded great. I'm just to me, it's just you know, there's there's more restrictions than we're used to in Dutch houses, but you know, starting times and whatnot. So yeah, <laughs> that's not kind of an issue. But uh, um, and just you know, you never know how it's really going to sound. But apparently, it sounded great. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I might check it out one day. Yeah, I think it's going to re-air on VH1 Classic, maybe at the end of the month. I'm not, I'm not quite sure on okay. the date of that, but. Well, it's good to know because there have been, everyone's been asking me. So. Yeah, I'll post it when we post the interview. I'll post the date. Um, okay. I know, man, you guys are so busy. You have the show next week in Bethlehem. You have Rock on the Range coming up, and then after that, you have Vegas Residency Round Two. How, oh. uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, how did the uh, how did the second residency come about? Were you guys planning that from the time of the last one, or did that just spring up recently? Um, you know, it's it's well, I was told about it recently. <laughs> I'm not sure how long it's gonna work, but I do know that the first one we did was was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, they really uh, put on a great uh, production there, um, and. Uh, you know, they're just, they treated us great. Um, and I enjoyed it a lot. I, mean, I enjoyed not having the, the travel sometimes get, you know, there's a sound a little bit. Just being in the same place for, for a month was 
I know the just the practicality of it. You guys can bring a bigger stage show because it it stays built. You don't have to break it down every night. It it makes a lot of sense for a band like Guns N' Roses to do a residency just for that fact. Um, it, there there was definitely um uh, a good it's a good feeling having that familiarity. Um, but you now we we can come in and put on a great show wherever we have you know. Uh, the top of the heap when it comes to to production crew and and uh, and um, guys that can just make that happen no matter where it's at. But uh, I guess it's probably a little bit easier for them too. They don't have to. It's definitely way easier for the crew. <laughs> they don't have to pack everything up like that. So um, it's just it's a great thing. But you know what? It's rock and roll has to keep has to keep traveling and has to keep moving on. So it's good to you know go there for a little bit and and, uh, and camp up and then. That you do. So, speaking of on the road, what's next after these? You have the residency, like I said, you had Rock on the Range coming up. So, is this going to be part of a bigger U.S. run, or are you just doing these few as just a couple of one-offs? Um, I think, you know, there's nothing real solid planned after that. Um, I know that uh, I'm going to be going out with, uh, with the band called the Dead Davies for, for a little bit, for a month or so. Um, and uh, so probably maybe in the fall, you know, it, it would be great to, uh, to hit the States again. It's always great to hit the States. And, uh, and keep it real. So for your last Vegas residency, there were a couple surprises. And I'm sure fans who are traveling out this time can expect an equal amount of surprises. What are the odds the fans might hear some new material? Any chances of that sneaking into the set? Um, you never know. You just, you never know. Oh, new man. material, new cover songs. Um, I know that uh, we've all been working hard, uh, just trying to get some stuff stored up. So it is a possibility. Anything is possible. Let's just put it in. Country Brothers, but anything is possible. There you go. That's that's a great answer. That is a great answer. Well, that is all I have for you. I'll let you go because I know you have a busy list of interviews to get through. I'm looking forward to seeing the show next week in Bethlehem. It's sold out. I would tell people to go buy tickets, but they already took care of that. Great. Awesome, man. Well, I'm looking forward to it. That was great to, to get back to the, the Keystone today. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. You bet, man. Thank you. Thanks.